the nutrition requirement at various stages uh, of growth varies from one uh, mineral to the other. Uh, in our table, in our table uh, here you can see we have uh, a kid, a dairy goat, a, a meat goat, and also a pregnant goat. And you can see there are stages, uh, there are areas where there is variation in terms of uh, uh, the nutrient requirements. For example, if you look at the energy, pro the energy providing uh, feed, you see at different stages, uh, the, the animal requires either more or less. For example, we see that 37 percent that, that, that percent of the energy requiring feed is required by a dairy goat because this particular animal is under production and it requires a lot of energy to produce milk. Uh, if you look at the protein providing meal, the proteinous fodder for the pregnant goat, uh, it requires more, almost 50% or 50% of the fodder. Uh, what does this, what this one tell us? A farmer must understand the stage of, a, of his or her flock or herd uh, and how to feed the animal. Uh, for the kid, the requirements might not be as much uh, as for the pregnant goat. So this one should be the adjustment in feeding must always occur. A farmer should not feed the same food, uh, the same feed the animal was receiving when small up to energy the production. So this particular table just to guide us on what the farmer should, should focus on. If you look at this uh, table and the, the feed components that is involved and also the percentage in each and every stage of production, uh, you realize that the, the balance is a full balanced diet add up, adding up to 100% or each and every portion of a feed. And this basically uh, means that the animal is receiving a well balanced diet. A goat is uh, considered a kid until uh, the fifth to six months when we consider it a full mature and, and productive, uh, then we can continue feeding the dairy portions or the meat portions uh, depending on the breed.